have here our county women representatives. Party, and in particular, uh, engaged fatherhood. Vote. Yes, yeah, that, I think that is the most important thing in safeguard. Take your views. Others who are left with threats. Today, today is a big day globally, not just here. They are going to be, uh, there's going to be hearing at the United States uh, Senate, and they're going to be listening to, to, to big tech on how they safeguard children. What policies are these tech companies taking to ensure that their processes, okay, from their code, like the simple code, is safe, okay? That it's not a, oh, after a child has been abused, that when you start thinking, uh, their coders, um, have they been trained on safeguarding, okay? Do they have a safeguarding policy? Are they designing for children, okay? So there's a design code for children that is supposed to be adhered to. So safeguarding also means contextualizing your issues. So something may be relevant for this context in Nairobi, but it's not, context, it's not relevant in Mandera, for instance. So we have to be able to, it's processes. So safeguarding is processes, policies, and systems okay, that are put in place to be able to safeguard children. And ensure that we have the conversation, as I keep saying, beyond the policies, beyond the organization. So today we focused on talking to our partners, getting government involvement as well in the processes of child safeguarding in Kenya. We're looking at um, getting more policy discussions ongoing within uh, the safeguarding space. But most important is uh, getting the child at the forefront of any safeguarding issues online, offline, uh, around this country. Responsibility, that's why we have joined as an association so that we can work on this safeguarding journey. And we are hopeful in the coming future we are going to be bigger and better and protect the children. So Thank for you. How many